friends so today's topic is uh, procedure of fixing uh, thermistor inside windings so as you know uh, that uh, thermistors are used for uh, sensing temperatures and if the temperature rise is above normal then the circuit trips so that that uh, protects your windings from burning but in this video we are not going to see how the thermistor works or what are the different types of thermistors in this topic in this video we are going only going to cover up how thermistors are installed inside windings uh, basically they are used in ac motors uh, and alternators so let's see how uh, the thermistors are installed inside windings so basically there are many types of thermistors uh, let's consider this type on your screen which has the dotted sensor and two lead cables so thermistors are basically used uh, in equipments where the temperature uh, rise will be mostly around 120 to 130 degrees celsius so we can say it thermistors are used only in uh, low temperature operations uh, that is uh, maximum 120 to 130 degrees celsius so let's see how this is done so let's consider this example uh, on your screen you can see an ac motor as you can see that uh, winding is healthy there is no problem in winding but the only problem with this uh, case was that the thermistors inside the windings were faulty so as uh, this motor was used in a highly sensitive area where the thermistors uh, are mandatory uh, before operations so uh, we had to replace the thermistors in this case but as thermistors are placed in such a place uh, inside the winding so we had to rewind this complete motor uh, to allow us to replace the thermistors so this uh, is the thermistor wire so now i am going to tell uh, show you where the thermistors are installed so as you can see on the screen this is a stator core with the windings half windings are done in this uh, you can see all these windings are new so this these are the coils and the slots slot paper this are the slots of the stator core with the papers and these are the coils so basically this is new winding and we are going to install thermistors in this so uh, as you can see this is the thermistor and we are going to fix it on the winding overhang the portion where the coils uh, come out from the core on the drive end side and non drive end side is called as overhang uh, if you have uh, seen my other videos you will come to know uh, which area is called as overhang so as you can see thermistors are installed as you can see it is inserted inside a particular phase on the overhang of any winding so you can see the sensor part is installed inside and the lead wires are brought out and those are connected to the uh, uh, these two wires are connected to your metering circuit so basically it will be alarm or trip sensor so the, uh, the thermistor is put inside the overhang coil and then we bind it with a wire so here this is a complete uh, rewound stator and you can see we have installed three thermistors so you can come to know by counting the number of wires these are total six wires so two wires each for one thermistor so total three thermistors for three phase 
so there will be three phase r by b and we have given uh, one thermistor for one phase so one thermistor for one phase so if any uh, phase of the winding uh, experiences a temperature rise uh, the uh, thermistor uh, alarm or the thermistor trip circuit will activate so in this way uh, the winding will be protected so considering the last case uh, where uh, we have seen a motor white color motor uh, with uh, a good winding and faulty thermistors so the reason we rewound the full motor was that that the thermistor was installed on the overhang of the winding and hence to uh, install a new thermistor we had to open up the winding overhang so which was not possible after rewinding so this is the only reason we had to uh, do the complete rewinding and replace the thermistor so basically uh, the thermistor has to be placed on the overhang and uh, if we have rtds uh, which are also used those are inserted inside the slot so this topic will be covered up in next video thanks for watching have a good day